Hello everyone. Uh, in this session, we'll talk about APM Spectre. So, what is APM Spectre? APM Spectre is nothing but to inspect the element. Like when we want to automate anything, we need locators. So if you remember UI testing, we have used XPath, DSS, ID, class name, locator of UI. So, what what we used to do? Like we used to do on this. Like suppose we are using Chrome, we used to do right click inspect. And through this impact, we used to click on this support this box and we used to take name or some ID and we used to construct its path CSS ID or something. Same way, we need some way to identify the element on app. For that, we have to use this APM inspector. So to download this and to download and install it, what you do just search APM inspector and here this GitHub library, just click over here. Now scroll down, you find some release note or something. So here, see, as a desktop in Mac OS Linux. So just click on this link, release. It will take you to download link. So there are different, for, there are different APM spectral for different OS like Mac is there. And we're looking for Windows. So we have to use this one, APM spectral. Just click on that. It will get downloaded. It's around 130 MB. I already downloaded, so I have. So once you download, it will be like that. To install, it's very simple. Just double click on this. Just select the which user you want to uh, for all user or for your yourself only. Just I'm selecting for any change user only, and install. The patient is already is get installed and just click on finish. Okay, it started. Now, next thing, what we have to do? We have to connect this APM server with this. We have to connect this APM inspector with our APM server. So, we have to write remote host, port number, and remote port. What is this? Same thing what you are providing in your code. Like when you are constructing your, this is our uh, local host, uh, that, and port number, and this is remote port. So, same thing we have to provide here. Okay. So these are, are done. So for that, first thing what you do, you will start your APM server. So just start your APM server. APM server started. And we for which app you want to take you want locators. So just open that app also. So suppose clock app I want to locator for this page, some timer or this thing. Just open this page. Now come to so this APM specter. So this is our local host we provided, port number we provided, and this is correct only. Okay. W N. Now one more thing we have to do, we have to provide some desired capability. What is the desired capability? What we provided in our code. Like uh, uh, you go to this init method, then what is the app uh, device name and what is automation name and what is all these things we have to provide. So not need to provide everything, just we have to provide the device name and platform. Two things we have to provide here. Okay. So just go here. Just give device name and device name is what? Name embedded. This is our device name. What we are using. Okay. Device name nothing but what you are providing in here. Okay. Go to this page zero one. This is our device name. Okay. Next thing, what we have to provide? We have to provide the platform. So just click here, add a new variable. Platform name. Platform name. And our platform on which platform we are testing, we are testing on Android. This thing is done, and you want to save this, just save as. So, next next time you want to use, just directly click on this. So, save and you go go here, you directly click on this, the new session will open. Okay, so no need to again you have to remove, just click on this. This is already open, and then start session. Just click on start session. Let me go to this. So, session is already. Locator for this clock. Click on this, you find all this here. Uh, what is the class? What is the text? What is the resource? This is nothing but ID. Okay. And all this thing you can use. Okay. So again, you want to take the 
this inspect so you can like take like timer and do text or some text view or something okay so what we'll do uh, in next uh, uh, next session what we'll do I download a new calculator app and we we'll try to identify locator for that okay so just uh, uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in next session thank you so much